this will be my next project it's called um, variable capacitive battery charger and dissolvator so it has only three basic uh, components and I will show that one the first component you need is the um, bridge rectifier so it will be like this uh, this is the symbol like that that's the symbol of uh, bridge rectifier so uh, and it will be like that positive this will be negative and this will be AC AC and the next component will be the capacitor uh, it must be a uh, um, AC capacitor not a DC capacitor um, and I will show you that one later so the symbol will be like that and the third component is the um, timer switch or yeah timer switch and we like that timer switch and there's a symbol like that T. so on the other side of the circuit is like this and go back so basically that's the bridge rectifier the AC capacitor and the timer switch and you get the AC voltage input on the other end assuming that this is your load a battery that needs to be charged like that and we have the positive terminal and the negative terminal of the battery so all you have to do is um, connect that one to the positive and the other one connect this to the negative so that's how you your charger will be 200 pesos look uh, online one dollar one dollar and above but uh, for this one since this is very hot this will become very hot you need a uh, heat sink you need the heat sink for that one and of course you need a um, uh, heat sink compound and of course uh, you need a screw to screw that one together wood screw this is the the component here that is very common is uh, the number is uh, KB PC 5010 you'll find that one on the internet a lot of it is available and the capacitor here AC capacitor um, AC capacitor and this is rated at uh, 40 microfarad at 450 volts BAC and the timer switch um, on the internet if you look at a search for this type of um, variable capacitance
battery charger battery charger and disulfator um, going back to the capacitor um, you can both this you can buy this one locally um, at around 400 500 pesos each um, no problems you can easily find this one this one um, for added safety I put I use a circuit breaker with a timer switch um, because I cannot find the one that they usually use in the internet it's only available at uh, mostly rated at 110 volts and I couldn't find a 220 or 230 volt rating for the timer switch I don't know if this will work or not um, we'll find that out um, if we go back to the basic circuitry uh, waveform this one okay before we go into that we'll continue this one now the symbol of this um, you got a terminal here and the switch like that and this goes up to here and this will be the uh, BC input uh, typically around 220 volts to uh, 240 volts AC in the Philippines uh, the input voltage will be like that like that so that will be your input voltage the output voltage will be here between this point yeah that, that point will be like this um, is a fluctuating DC like that so uh, output voltage here B out is equal to 1.414 times the voltage input so if that's um, 220 volts times 1.414 the DC output here fluctuating DC is 1.414 times the 220 volts that is very high very dangerous and it can kill you so make sure that whoever uses this charger battery variable capacitance battery charger has a good instruction first should receive a good instruction before using this one because the voltage here is very high open voltage is very high it's 220 volts times 1.414 it can kill you definitely so when using this before you plug in the AC and before you turn on the switch this switch you have to connect the terminal first to the battery then set the timer that's the timer plug in the plug in the AC voltage uh, is AC input then turn on the switch that's the step if you don't follow that one it could kill you so I won't be allowing anybody to use this one of course wirings for the output wiring here output you need a thick wire like that mm, this is um, uh, what's the size of this one uh, 8 mm just 8 mm uh, I might replace that one because that's too small but for now that's I think that's good enough and you need terminals for that one like this like this terminals for this so um, and also for that um, before using this one you have to read properly what's the terminals 
is saying here um, that's the positive that's the negative and these two are AC positive negative um, optional component I might put an optional component uh, but not necessary but this is optional I can put a voltmeter across here across here so yeah voltmeter and a um, ammeter and series here ammeter series many people have claimed that they can use it in any other battery like uh, lithium ion and others uh, I don't recommend it but it's up to you um, you can put 6 volts 12 volts 24 48 72 whatever here and you don't have to make any adjustment like in the past using a transformer when you have to dial the, the voltage input this one is automatic because of this thing here this will handle almost everything the current in the capacitor cap with respect to time is equal to the capacitance times the rate of voltage with respect to time divided by the rate of time um, so this is constant and this is almost constant and this is increasing so as time increases the current that passes through here decreases so that's the basic equation there I'm not going to elaborate that one here you have to read that further um, another one is dissolvator why dissolvator um, the main reason why this is a dissolvator is because of this pulsating DC this pulsating DC uh, wait at, at about 120 Hertz if your input is 60 Hertz uh, this one will act as a dissolvator on the plates on the battery and it basically theoretically um, dissolvates the plates so that's the main reason why it's called dissipator if you want a clean DC output you can put a filter circuit here across uh, sir, uh, filter circuit looks like this uh, there are many types just a basic capacitor a, a DC capacitor like that and the battery here or combination of like this plus another capacitor like that just positive positive negative and you can put like that um, filters they are subject on that one and you can read more about it here but we don't need this one so because we need the dissolvator effect these pulses pulsating DC acts like a dissolvator um, that's it let's build it let's make this one thank you okay so this is the finished project we got the AC input timer switch and circuit breaker capacitor and bridge rectifier with heat sink so uh, I hope that it, I will add uh, maybe a voltmeter somewhere here digital voltmeter then I can get hold of it so basically this is done next step is testing thanks for watching